alpha particle scattering experiment is uh, given by the J. Uh, Rutherford, Ernest Rutherford in 1906 and uh, this experimentally performed by the Geiger and uh, Marsden, Ernest Marsden. Now, here according to this uh, experiment, here this is the source of alpha particles, source of particles. This uh, from the source of alpha particles, the alpha particles are coming and uh, here I am taking lead bricks. Here, this lead bricks, due to this uh, lead bricks, only the fine beam, here only the fine beam or a narrow beam is coming through this uh, lead bricks and uh, these uh, alpha particles can pass along this direction and uh, at this place we are taking the target or uh, here we will take uh, the gold foil here this is the gold foil this is the gold foil and uh, alpha particles when these alpha particles are coming and incidenting on this uh, gold foils some of the alpha particles are scattering above the 90 degrees angle only sum of alpha particle that is a uh, one out of 8000 particles coming back uh, that means uh, scattering above the 90 degrees angle and uh, some of the particles are transmitting that is uh, passing through this uh, gold foil and uh, some of the alpha particles are scattering with an angle theta and uh, some of the particles are scattering along this direction and uh, these scattering particles this scattering particles can be identified by the here I am taking a zinc sulfide this uh, zinc sulfide screen and uh, these alpha particles these scattered uh, sul alpha particles are identified by the zinc sulfide screen when these alpha particles are incidenting on this zinc sulfide screen then the scintillations can be happened or uh, the bright flashes can be appear and here we are taking the microscope uh, here detector this uh, detector can identify the particles or uh, and uh, the number of particles the number of scattered particles can be identified by the function of scattering angle now here we are taking the 5.5 mega electron volt 5.5 mega electron volt alpha particles are coming from the bismuth bismuth 83214 here from this bismuth 83214 radioactive element radioactive element here the alpha particles which has 5.5 mega electron volts coming from the bismuth 83214 radioactive element are coming through the and passing through the lady lead bricks here because of this uh, lead bricks only the collimated fine beam is coming and uh, incidenting on the gold foil here this gold foil having the thickness 2.1 into 10 power minus 3 minus 7 meters this is the thickness of the gold foil and uh, here this uh, on striking this gold foil some of the particles are coming back and uh, some particles are passing through the gold file and some particles are making some scattering angles here this uh, number of particles are identified by the zinc sulfate screen that is uh, by the detector now here if we draw the graph between the scattering angle if we draw the graph between the scattering angle scattering angle along x-axis and uh, this uh, number of particles the number of particles scattered is along y axis then here taking 10 10 power 2 10 power 3 like that and here angle taking 10 
20 30 like that angle if you take then the number of particles the number of particles scattered the most of the particles scattered is about uh, 1 degree the most of the particles scattered with an angle less than a 1 degree and uh, some of the particles are scattered above the angle of 90 degrees that is only 1 out of 8000 particles are scattering above the 90 degrees and uh, some of the particles are passing through the gold foil this can be uh, we can get by the graph now here uh, by this some particles some of the particles which uh, collide with the target here this is the target some particles are colliding with the target that is on the head on collision they are coming back coming back that means here a large repulsive force is acting on the particles alpha particles here a large repulsive force is acting on the alpha particles when they are colliding on the uh, this uh, target directly here according to this experiment he concluded that the size of the atom the atomic size is 10 power minus 14 to 10 power minus 15 meters and uh, the size of the nucleus the size of the nucleus is uh, the size of the new uh, atomic size is greater than the nucleus that is a uh, 10,000 to 1 lakh times 1 lakh times here the atomic size of a uh, atom is 10 power minus 14 to 10 power minus 15 meters and uh, this atomic size is a uh, greater than the 10,000 to 1 lakh times more and uh, mostly the mass of the entire atomic the mass of the entire alpha particle is uh, concentrated at the center and uh, remaining total mass is empty total space most of the space is empty that's why some of the alpha particles are making with a larger scattering angle here now here already we took this uh, jet uh, that is a uh, gold gold foil we are taking which has the atomic number 79 and alpha particle this alpha particle consists two positive that is a uh, two positive charges and uh, if we take the repulsive force the repulsive force f is equal to given by the coulomb's repulsive force that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into z e into 2 e by r square here r is the distance between the source of the particle to the gold file and here z means uh, the atomic number of the gold and uh, e is the charge of the gold and uh, 2e is the number of charges in the alpha particles okay here this is the alpha particle scattering experiment